Jose Garces is one of the country's leading chefs, cookbook authors, and restaurateurs. He now has more than a dozen restaurants in seven cities, including the new Argentinian steakhouse, Rural Society in Washington, D.C., and Volver in Philadelphia. Am I saying that right, Volver? Uh, Volver. Volver, sorry, yes. wanted to get it right. A branch of his original Philly restaurant, Amada, opens here in New York next year. He was named the James Beard Best Chef Mid-Atlantic and won the title of Iron Chef in Kitchen Stadium. Chef Jose Garces, good morning and welcome back to The Dish. Uh, well, thank you for having me. You're up to 19 restaurants now? <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's a busy time at Garces Group, for sure. How do you manage 19 restaurants? You know, it's it's like any uh, any business. I have great people, yeah. and uh, they help me manage and oversee the great hospitality and good food. Tell me what we're eating here today, because it really visually is, is quite beautiful. So these are some dishes from uh, Rural Society, and Rural Society is our, our newest Argentinian um, inspired steakhouse uh, open in Washington DC this open summer during the World Cup too, open right? <laughs> during the World Cup we we're hopeful for an Argentinian win but sorry about that yeah that, that's that's okay but we have um, we have some skirt steak it's uh, and it's called entraña on the menu and it's mm. just cooked over uh, embers of wood and charcoal do you marinate that before it gets onto the you know just simply um, simply with salt and pepper but we really you know we let the the charcoal and the wood really do a lot of lot of work uh, we've got some um, roasted beets. They're, they're cooked in embers as well with an orange aioli. Mm -hmm. uh, several different sausages, um, some wood roasted carrots, and a little bit of uh, mm. my favorite garlic with mashed potatoes with mozzarella curds. And what is mm. this really so this, lovely looking thing we're drinking? This so morning? this is an Argentinian classic. It's fernet branca with a uh, vanilla liqueur, mm -hmm. a little bit of Coca-Cola, and a brandy cherry. People at home always wonder if we're at, what we drink is actually, it really has alcohol in it. It does. It does. <laughs> Everything gets real fun in a little bit. Um, so let me ask you about this. You were born to Ecuadorian parents, yep. grew up in Chicago. How did all of that influence the kind of food that you like to cook? Well, uh, my mom and grandma were, were huge influences, and they cooked pretty much every day in my home. And uh, so growing up in a Latin household, really uh, having empanadas, ceviches, uh, different Ecuadorian classics really started to shape my uh, inspiration. And, uh, you know, it, it, at this point now, I, I have Spanish restaurants, Mexican yeah. and Argentinian, a, a Cuban diner. So Latin food is in my blood, and I believe it all be began back home. You, you named your first restaurant for your grandmother, Amada, correct? Yeah, my 93-year-old uh, grandma, and uh, she's still, still, still doing it, still cooking every day. Uh, she lives in Ecuador, but uh, a huge inspiration did for you, me. Did you always know you wanted to do this, or did, was there a moment when you suddenly said, that's it? I think there was, there was definitely a moment. I knew that I, that I loved food, but uh, I think having some experience uh, in the industry really, you know, I saw what, what the capabilities were and what the opportunities were to uh, make it a business, you know, so. Mm -hmm. Well, on top of the wonderful and uh, successful business, so many people recognize you from Iron Chef. Is it the pressure cooker that it seems like, no pun intended? Yeah. <laughs> you know, Iron Chef is one of the most fun things I've ever done in my career. It is, uh, it challenges me professionally, creatively, and, uh, you know, it's uh, competition. You're, you're racing against the clock and trying to beat your competitor who wants to make you look bad, so. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, I mean, I don't think of that as, as something you'd associate with chefs in kitchens, so it's a little unnatural in a sense, but, but and in fact, the restaurant industry is very competitive, isn't it? Uh, absolutely, uh, I mean, it continues to be more and more competitive. I think that, you know, being an Iron Chef has forced me to really compete, um, compete on television, but it also helps me forge my business plans going forward because the restaurant industry is hugely competitive. We're looking at some beautiful images, and I'm assuming some of these have to be on your working farm in Pennsylvania, Luna Farm? Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I started a farm about four years ago. We're in our fourth season there, and uh, I grow vegetables, uh, organic vegetables, microgreens that we deliver to all of our restaurants in, in Philadelphia and on the East Coast. So. Um, that has been a great process of, of learning. You know, for years I, I used to get produce delivered to my back step of my restaurants and, and really learning where it comes from, how it's made has been a, has been a great and your process. And your kids get to take a part in this farm too, from what they I They do, they do. You know, they, um, if, if they're in trouble, they have, uh, they have some farm labor that they owe me. So usually, usually they're, uh, you know, it's just a great, you're living in the city, having that ability to go out to the farm and experience, um, nature, agriculture, 
all really make uh, make it special for our family. I knew that I'd like you when I saw your most memorable battle was Indian cuisine. Oh, <laughs> I, I was like, yeah. I love it. <laughs> Let me give you this dish to get your signature on it. And as I pass it over, I want to ask you if you could have this meal with any person, past or present, who would that person be? Well, I would say, like, present, uh, since I opened in Washington, D.C., I'd love to, like, sit down with President Obama and just see, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm sure big. there's some interesting topics going on these days. And, um, yeah. Mikasa Sukasa. Great choice. Chef Jose, thank you so much. For more on this dish, head to our website at CBS This Morning.